find it difficult to fund your bbyte wallet your bbyte account this video is for you this video will help you to know how you can fund your bbyte account from directly from your bank account using your smartphone or your pc if you find this video helpful please share this video follow this particular channel you are watching this video for stay tuned as you see how it goes and in this video i'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how to deposit money directly from your nigerian bank account to your bybit account now recently binance disabled binance p2p on the platform for nigerians which has made a lot of people to be looking for new apps for p2p and bybit is one of the new apps you can use for p2p in the crypto space so if you want to learn how to deposit money to your bybit account through p2p here is how to do it but before i go into that please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel if you have not subscribed thank you now here is what you need to do the first thing you want to do is click on deposit at the top right corner of the screen where the arrow is pointing to now once you click on deposit you have three options you have deposit crypto buy with ngn and p2p trading now the p2p trading is the third option where the arrow is pointing to so you click on it right there now on your screen you are going to be seeing like a warning sign telling you that during the transaction please use your own account to receive or send payment now this is very very important make sure that you are using your own bank account for the transaction you are using whether you are receiving money or sending money make sure you are using your own bank account it is very very important and you can see if the counterparty doesn't use own account you have the right to refuse it so if the third party or the person sending your money doesn't use his or her own account or maybe you are trying to send money to someone and it's not the same person's name you have the right to refuse it so once you see this just click on acknowledge right here and then the next thing you want to do is to click on buy or sell now if you are depositing into buy bit it means that you are buying and if you are withdrawing it means that you are selling now to deposit you click on buy right here so it's already on buy where they are responding to and the next thing is to pick the crypto you want to buy with your nigerian naira so if it's that you want to buy USDT, USDC, BTC or ETH, you pick anyone that you want to buy. So for this video, I'm going to be buying USDT for this video. So the next thing that you want to do after picking the crypto is to enter the amount you want to deposit or that you want to buy. So you can see where you have amount right here. Just click on it and enter the amount of Naira you want to send or that you want to deposit. So let's say for example, I want to deposit uh, 100,000 Naira. So you can just enter hundred thousand naira right here and once you've entered it you click on confirm right here now once you've entered it the next thing is to pick the payment method so you can see where it says all payment methods just click on it and then you see the different payment methods that you can use so if you pick bank transfer that means that you can transact with anyone with any bank account so once you click on bank transfer you click on confirm now once you've done that you'll be seeing the various people that you can transact with right here based on the amount that you enter so you can do transaction of hundred thousand naira with any of these people right here now you don't just go ahead and just pick anyone you don't just go ahead and do that now the first thing i would advise you to do is to come right here to where you have filter right here and click on it now once you click on filter you see two options the first one is show only verified advertisers so if you want to transact with only verified advertisers that is people who are verified by bybit then you click this option now the second option is show only eligible ads now when you are doing p2p there are some ads or some people that you can't transact with that you are not eligible to transact with them now the reason is because every advertiser has his own requirement that is there's some requirement you must meet before you can transact with them so if you don't meet their requirement that means it will show ineligible so if you look at the screen right here you can see where the arrow is pointed to where it says ineligible here that means that i can't transact with this person maybe i am not meeting one of the person's um, requirements but you can see this second person where it says buy that means i can transact with that person so if you only want to see advertisers that you can transact with that is that you are eligible to, to transact with then just pick the second option so i'm going to pick these two options right now so we'll pick these two options and i'll click on confirm so you can see that we have a new list right here so that means that all of these people we have right here are people that one we can do transaction of hundred thousand naira with two they are all verified advertisers and three i am eligible to transact with all of them so you can see it's very easy now the next thing is to now check for the number of orders and the completion rate now for the exact for example this first person you can see this person has done 2895 orders in the last 30 days and that is a lot 2895 orders in the last 30 days 
and that person has completed 99% of all those transactions. So if you want to buy from this person, you can go ahead and click this first person. And you can see the second person has done 1,679 orders in the last 30 days. And this person has completed 100% of all the transactions. This person has completed all the transactions. So you can see that if you pick verified users, you have the high chance of dealing with people who are always completing their transactions. That is, you won't have any problem dealing with verified advertisers. So once you've checked out the advertisers and you are ready to pick one person to deal with. So for example, I'm going to be picking this first person right here. So what you just need to do is click on buy right here where they are responding to. Now, once you click on buy, the next thing is to enter the amount you want to deposit right here. Remember, you are the one buying. So you can either enter with fiat or with crypto. So if you are entering with fiat, that means just enter the amount of Naira you want to transfer. So I'll just enter 100,000 Naira. And also, if it's that you want to enter it in crypto, maybe you, always, you just want to get, let's say, $100. So just come here to where you have with crypto. You can see what it says with crypto right here. Just click it and then you enter 100 USDT. This is USDT. So that means that if you are buying 100 USDT, you'll be paying or you'll be sending 159,489 Naira. That's it. But I just want to send 100,000 Naira. So I'll just come right here to where I have with Fiat. I'll come back here and just enter 100,000 Naira. So you can see for the 100,000 Naira, I'll be receiving 62.7 USDT. That's it. So once you've done that, just come right here and click on buy right here. And then you can see that you have a timer at the top of your screen where it says complete your payment within 14 minutes, 40 seconds. It's actually 15 minutes. So you have to complete your payment within 15 minutes. So to make your payment, at the bottom of the screen, just click on pay now. Or if you want to cancel the order, you are no more interested, just click on cancel order. So I'll click on pay now. And on the screen is going to show you the bank account number, the bank branch, and the bank name. So you can see the bank account number right here and then the bank name. So all you just have to do is copy the bank account number. And also you can see the name right here. So once you've seen all of these details, again, copy the account, bank account number, and then go to your bank app to transfer the money. So I'll go to my bank app right now to transfer the money. A few moments later. So as you can see on the screen right here, I've just sent 100,000 Naira to the person's account. So once you've done that, then you go back to your Bybit app. So right now I'm back on the Bybit app and like I said, I've transferred the money. Then you click right here on where you have payment completed. And then you also click on this box right here to confirm it. So you click on confirm. And then next thing you want to do is that you wait for 10 minutes for the crypto to be released. So you can see right here, the coins you've bought will be released within 10 minutes. So you can see right here, within just one minute, this person has released my crypto. So you can see completed. And then if I want to see my crypto, I'll just click on view my asset right here. And then you can see my asset is under my funding wallet. So you'll be able to see your USDT or any crypto that you bought in your funding wallet. And if you now want to use the money to trade, you will now transfer it to your spot wallet or to your derivatives wallet. And also if you want to learn how to do derivatives trading and you want to learn how to do spot trading on Bybit, I have full guide and full videos on all these tutorials. The links to those videos will be in the description below. And you click on the videos you are seeing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.